What's going on everyone, TJ Fitness Games Reviews, reporting to you right here from the FDA proof bunker and today I have a product that clearly was created specifically to be reviewed in an FDA proof bunker, the Genome Project Battle Rocket. Yeah, look at this thing people, look at how it looks like, it looks like it just came out of Walgreens. Anyway people, I'm gonna take you through the label of this thing, I'm gonna tell you what's in it and this has been getting a lot of underground buzz mostly because it looks like it came out of Walgreens and the list of ingredients here is, is insanity. Fuck labels, but this list is just crazy. These people are living on the edge, even just saying that they have this shit here. Anyway, I'm gonna take you through my experience. I am almost, almost halfway through this uh, tub. Actually, probably more than halfway because I think I've tried it more than 10 times by now. So I'm actually gonna take you through my personal experience using this one. Then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my final verdict of what I think about this over, uh, you know, after like a month. And all I'm gonna ask in return, for this magnificent journey right here from the FDA proof bunker is that you hit that like button. Okay people, so recently there's been a bunch of these underground uh, brands coming out with shit that looks, looks different, right? Some of them literally on the label say crazy shit, some of them spike uh, their pre-workouts with some stuff that feels very different, you know, it's enhanced pre-workouts. You know, I reviewed here Fentaplex, which, uh, you know, some of you saw, felt exactly what I felt, which is was literally seeing through walls. The tubs that I had and the tubs that some of you had definitely were spiked with shit. Some of the tubs probably were not spiked. You know, these, these underground uh, brands, very hard, very hard to put trust in them. But anyway, listen, people, as far as this one, this came in out of nowhere like a month or so, or maybe a few months ago, and started getting this underground buzz. Because look at this thing, <laughs> how it looks like. Also, it says this, this does not, uh, this does not taste good. This does work awesome. We formulate the strongest, blah, 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 blah. Not the best tasting. No returns based on the, the taste. Fuck flavors anyway. I'm going to talk about that later. Anyway, so Battle Rocket, uh, advanced users only, nootropic pre-workout. Dude, this thing, by the way, blue raspberry, you know, this This looks like it came from the same dungeon in New Jersey where Fentaplex came from, where Excelsior comes from, all these underground. Listen, there is a challenge always with this type of pre-workouts. I just want to tell you, like, a lot of them would spike, you know, the, the crazy ones. They, they'd spike, think about even crazy, the original one. They spiked it with amphetamines, right? And then you can buy now Crazy the OG, whatever it is. It, it's not spiked with shit, so it feels very regular. Some of these brands, you know, they'll spike some of the tubs at the beginning and get you hooked up on something and then you'll miss the feeling. Some of them spike just selectively. So some people go crazy and they create this buzz and some of them spike forever. Like Excelsior has been spiked for quite a while and it's very different now even though you can't really get it right. Anyway people, let's get into this thing right here. This is why we built, we invested like a billion dollars in the FDA proof bunker so we can review this shit without the FDA bothering us. Okay people, so Battle Rocket, listen to this thing. This thing has one scoop 14 grams and serving per container 20. That's what they say. Now, when you start reading this uh, label here, really, this is the most insane pharmacy level uh, label I've ever seen. Like, you know, a lot of this uh, underground uh, pre-workout, they on label, they look s normal, but they are spiked. They're enhanced. They're not telling you that they're enhancing it. This shit is like literally on label reads like a list of banned substances. So anyway, let's start with this thing. Pump and endurance blend. So they have L-citrulline and agmatine, six grams and one gram. Single solid pump formula. But you're not buying this shit for the pumps. Listen, you are not buying this shit for the pumps, if you're buying it. Anyway, then they have the Battle Rocket Energy Blend, which is 520 milligrams, and it's a totally proprietary blend that they're not saying the amount. Listen to this, people. Starts easy with caffeine and hydrous of 300 milligrams. Okay, fine, so caffeine. But then it goes amp citrate, which is, uh, by the way, a banned ingredient. Can't really... I don't know, Some suddenly out of nowhere people started using amp citrates on label. I don't know if they're using the actual ingredient or not. You know, we don't believe any label anyway. It's all based on experience at the end of the day. Saying amp citrate, like think about this as a sort of one, DMBA some call it. It's like sort of a relative to DMHA, DMAA. It's supposed to give you that focus, mood elevation and energy. It's a stimulant obviously. But this is not where the fun begins because the fun begins with the three ingredients that come later. Then you have tyanoptin sodium, which is basically a prescription drug in some countries in Europe 
to deal with depression. Like think about it as an antidepressant. Prescription, people. Prescription in Europe. <laughs> yeah. This is what this is supposed to be. Then you have uh, nefiracetam, which is uh, a sister, brother, precursor, whatever. I don't know. I had to Google some of this shit because this thing is not stuff you see on labels, people. So nefiracetam is basically, again, it's, a, it's an experimental, experimental nootropic drug that uh, most of the research is around dealing with Alzheimer's disease. So it's supposed to help with cognitive functions. Yeah. And then you have uh, Sunifram, which is another experimental drug, which is also supposed to deal with cognitive functions. It's a new, by the way, all three are sort of stimulant nootropics. All three are totally underground if, in t if in they are actually here. All of this shit is supposed to help with cognitive functions and nootropic functions. Now, some of the research behind this, I know I spent like an hour just reading through the shit because I've never ran into these ingredients. Some of these, have, you know, very early studies in humans, some of them are just in animals. Uh, def some of them show that they can help with Alzheimer's, dementia, and with cognitive functions. Some of them show that they can only help this after you use it for more than seven days. Some and Guys, listen, this is all experimental shit. If they actually have this stuff here then I would say this is reckless <laughs> because these are experimental drugs. But, you know, this is the FDA-approved bunker. This is not the first time uh, we take reckless things here. Okay, people, so, and then you have your Imbin HCL. Yeah. Isn't that crazy that people actually put this shit on a, on a label even? Listen, labels are just fucking labels. They can write whatever they want here. This is all about the experience at the end of the day. I have to give that to them, though. They did a very good job in making this look like uh, it came out of a pharmacy or from a lab. And this label reads insane. This reads like a fucking pharmacy, right? A lot of experimental drugs, mostly, like I said, around nootropics and then the amp citrate and 300. Craziness. I, I can see why there's so much buzz around this thing. Okay, people, let's get into the experience because seriously, labels are just fucking labels and it's very hard to, yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> you never know. Okay, people, so the, the flavor I have is blue raspberry. So, by the way, I expected the worst just because they had this uh, statement here. It's actually an okay flavor. I don't know why they were... Uh, fuck flavors. I don't you, You're not taking this... Seriously, I don't even know. This is an insult to you guys that they even put this here to warn you that the flavor sucks. If you're taking this into your body... By the way... Listen, crazy people, like, there's some people who would not take the freaking COVID vaccine, and by the way, I'm not against or in favor, do whatever the fuck you want to do. You're not taking a COVID vaccine, but you're fucking putting into your body <laughs> something that some fucker in New Jersey put on a tub with all sorts of shit. Dudes, seriously, this world is crazy. Anyway, anyway, yeah. So uh, let's get into this. So let's get into the experience. Listen, the flavor was fine. I don't know what this is. You know, I don't give a fuck about flavors. Fuck your flavors. Let's get into the experience. So listen, people, I tried this more than 10 times. I tried this as a pre-workout. I tried this as a nootropic. I'll tell you in a second. So anyway, let me get into the experience. Listen, let me start. Let me take out of the way what, it's, uh, what definitely is there as far as the experience. And then I'll go into the other stuff. So as far as the experience, listen, the pumps are actually quite solid. It's not crazy, but they're quite solid. So I do think that there's some pump ingredients here. I don't know how, like, exactly how much. That doesn't matter. You're going to feel the pumps. But listen, seriously, you're not taking this thing for the pumps. Okay. You're not taking this thing from the pumps. So then let's get into the actual energy and experience. So listen, the first few times I took it, I definitely felt the energy kick. It's not a crazy energy kick. I have to tell you like throughout, I took this, like I said, more than 10 times. This is not a sense of urgency pre-workout. You're not going to get, there, there's no sense of urgency as far as like, you know, going, working hard, pushing. There's no beta alanine tingling, which also has some effect in that. But even putting that aside, there's a good, clean energy that lasts for, it's going to last you for your workout, but there's not, not a lot of physical energy, okay? This is not a physical energy type pre-workout. But it's not even supposed to be a physical energy type pre-workout based on this thing. But you know what? It doesn't even matter. So energy though, okay. It's okay. You're not going to cry. It's going to be fine. It's not going to blow your head off. You're not feeling... Any, like, uh, there's no alpha yo, the yohim bin here, I'm not really feeling. Anyway, it's, it's a good energy, it's not crazy. Let's get into the nootropic, nootropic effects. So, listen, this, this definitely, I want to say, is, does this feel special? Like, does this feel something like you would say, oh my god, I have to take this again, because this feeling is just very unique. 
So I have to tell you, I had an on and off experience with Battle Rocket. Like, I took this, and the first few times that I, I took it, I felt I felt good, right? If you feel the energy, there's definitely a there's something in here. I don't know if it's all this shit, but there's something in here. Maybe DMHA, maybe Samurai Genesis, maybe actually what they have here. Like I've never tried this shit. You feel a you definitely get a good in the zone feeling. Very good. Is it the best I've ever had? No, but very good focus feel. There's uh, as far as mood elevation. This is not, this is, there's no euphoria here. This is not like a dark energy euphoria or a crack gold euphoria or flame euphoria. I'm going to link below, by the way, to my uh, latest uh, top 14 Steam Junkie Free Workouts for 2022. It's not that level of euphoria, but you feel good. You just feel good. I don't know how to tell you. you, you you're chilled almost. Very, I would say this is the reverse of aggressive. This is not an aggressive pre-workout. This is a feel-good pre-workout. Like you feel okay. Feel good, not euphoria. Feel good. You get, you get me? I'm not sure if I'm getting through to you. But it's like, you're more chill than aggressive, I want to say. Okay? But definitely, like, you're going to get a good hour of in the zone, chilled. You're going to have fun working out. Again, the energy is not crazy. Good nootropic feel as far as focus. Good nootropic feel as far as focus. You're going to be focused on your workout. Is it tunnel fucking vision crazy? I didn't get that. And I, like I said, I tried it multiple times. I also stopped, by the way, in between. Like I took it like three times. Then I stopped and I took it again. And actually, I'll tell you in a second what I did at the end. Uh, so anyway, so it's good. Now, the thing for me, the post-workout. Here's the thing, the post-workout. You know, like I, I really like the post-workout buzz from pre-workouts because I work out re really early in the morning. And uh, my post-workout is work. So I actually like the buzz and euphoria. So this thing post-workout, this is really interesting. Like I had a very mixed experience post-workout. Half of the time, at least half of the time, I was almost defocused post-workout. Not focused, defocused. Like I definitely, there's, which by the way, tells me that there's something in here. I don't know what, but there's something in here. But I was actually defocused. Like I had a couple of calls post-workout where I just felt out of focus like I, I was feeling a bit more actually like I said defocused really defocused some sometimes post-workout I was feeling good I was feeling okay like half I want to say half of the times I was okay I was in I was I was focused not crazy again but I was focused some of the time I was literally defocused which for me was very not productive super not productive for me then I actually tried this and I said, listen, I'm going to try this as a nootropic. It doesn't have beta so I can sit in one place. It doesn't have like a great sense of urgency. There is no craziness. So I did think, well, maybe this would actually work out as a nootropic. So I took it actually one time. I took it at 6 p.m. in the evening. I had like a long night of calls, long evening of calls. Took it 6 p.m. in the evening. I said, let's see how it feels. So it's interesting. Listen, definitely you can use this as a nootropic. And for me, which means that as a pre-workout, it's less effective, right? Because if I can sit in one place and have calls, this is, for me personally, it's not a good steam junkie pre-workout, right? Like I can, I actually want to be able, I want sense of urgency. I want to run. This, this actually felt to me better as a nootropic than it felt as a pre-workout. Now I do want to say, I only tried this once. Two things I can tell you. There's definitely not a lot of stimulants here because I was able to go to sleep after five hours with no problem whatsoever. No sleep supplement, no nothing. After five hours, I was able to go to sleep. So from an energy perspective, this is not one of these all day energy. I did feel good. I did feel focused. Did I feel more focused than on other good nootropics? I don't know. I don't know. This feels good. Listen, let, let me summarize this thing. I, I'd say this, this is, give it a shot. There's something in here. For me, I told you the experience was like, is it memorable for me? Like, would I come back to this a hundred times just because, you know, like I would do with Crack Gold or Flame or Crack or God of Rage or, or Defiant Unleashed Limited Edition or Zeus or the old dark energy. No, I, I don't think so, but it's maybe worth an experience. Like try it. I would say try it. See, see how it works for you. Like for me, the fact that it's a hit or miss with the post-workout experience with the defocus, for me, it's a no-go. Very hard for me to say that I would go for it just because I can't afford to be out of focus. As far as the actual energy, it's good. Like I said, it's good. But does that feel very different than a lot of the other shit I tried? Like, is this, I don't know. Like, like would this make my top 
uh, top list for 2022 if I if I add this uh, enough times before I uh, before I did their list no I don't think it would so I would say give it a shot if you want to right I'm gonna link below to the page on fitness deal news you know we, where we find the latest deals from all over the web so give it a shot if you want to I, I don't know like this I don't know if it has this shit I don't know if what what they put in it maybe some of you will fly on this thing and will have the best experience ever for me, it, was, it wasn't bad. Like I said, it's a good experience during the workout. Good nootropic feel. Lack of, not, a, not a great amount of self sense of urgency. Not a lot of physical energy. And the nootropic feel is good, but it's not, like, it's not out of this world nootropic feel. But give it a shot if you want to. If you want to experiment with something that looks like this shit. Right? Right here from the FDA Proof Bunker. Listen, people! If this review was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more reviews like this. Because this is what we do here. We help you make smart decisions about the supplements that you buy.